It's the week cinemas are finally reopened at long last. Yay! I haven't actually been to the cinema for about a year and a half. That's something I never actually thought I'd ever say. There's a few movies out this week, including Spiral, The Book of Saw, but I am off to see the new Angelina Jolie movie, Those Who Wish Me Dead. So pop along with me and we'll see how it all works now. Okay, so we're outside View Cinema. We're going to head inside and see what's changed. Okay, so here we go. Just finished watching the movie we're going to head home and i will give you my thoughts on the movie hi my name is carl thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another video today's video is for the review of the brand new 2021 action thriller movie those who wish me dead which was directed by taylor sheridan and it's available in cinemas everywhere now yes at long last cinemas have finally reopened their doors and when i went it felt quite strange and different yes because i haven't actually been for a year and a half but also when i arrived there was lots of cleaning going on as you would expect you have to wear masks as well which was very strange, but once you got in your seat, you could actually take the mask off, which was actually good news to hear. And also it was empty as well. I pretty much had screen six to myself, which felt quite nice. And like I say, strange as well. Those who wish me dead win. Now, when you watch the trailer for this movie, you think it's all about firefighting and it is at the beginning, but then it takes a turn. If you're visiting my channel for the very first time, Carlinio9, hello and a massive welcome to you. Please consider subscribing if you can, as it really does help the channel out, and I'd really appreciate it as well. Thank you so much. The story follows a smoke jumper firefighter called Hannah, played by the wonderful Angelina Jolie, who is suffering from grief and regret after losing some kids in a forest fire after she got the wind direction wrong. Now Hannah, she's kind of one of the lads. She likes to drink and have a laugh with the guys. And she does this silly stunt where she parachutes off the back of a pickup truck. This lands her in a remote watchtower. Now these remote watchtowers, you get a great view up there, but believe me, I would poop myself if I was up there. The story then focuses on a boy called Connor, played by Finn Little, who witnesses his dad being killed by two hitmen. Jack, played by Aidan Gillen from Game of Thrones, and Patrick, played by Nicholas Holt. Their job is to kill the dad and the boy and anyone who gets in their way. Connor manages to escape with his secret into why the hitmen are assigned to kill him and his dad. He eventually meets Hannah who says that she will protect him. This is where the adventure begins because we have Hannah and Connor are being pursued by these two hitmen. And their bid for survival it just builds on that tension and makes it so tense. We also have this huge forest fire going on. And this just ramps up the danger and the sound from that forest fire through those cinema speakers just makes it. The movie also stars John Burnfall. You might recognise him from The Walking Dead. And we also have Jake Webber as well, who plays Connor's dad. 
This movie does have a very talented cast with some brilliant actresses and actors in there. I thought Angelina Jolie and Finn Little worked really well together, they had great chemistry on set, as did our two hitmen as well. The one thing you do notice while watching this movie is the beautiful picturesque surroundings of the forest in Montana. Absolutely stunning views. Even though this was a very good movie, it did leave me asking questions and I just felt like there was something missing. It left me feeling frustrated. For instance, why was there only two hitmen? And how were these two hitmen able to get ahead of the boy and son? And also, how did they know exactly what road they would actually take? And most importantly, what was this big secret that the father knew about? I would have loved to have known this. And one little thing, it's just very picky. There was these two huge forest fires, but we don't see any firemen holding a fire hose. There was just no fire hose in sight. Just something little to pick at. I did like the way Taylor Sheridan directed this movie because we get to spend time with each character. Apart from Tyler Perry's character, he's meant to be like this big top main guy, but I feel he just didn't really need to be there because he's only in the movie for a few minutes. This was a very good movie and worth watching on the big screen, especially with the bangs and the roaring of that burning fire coming through those speakers was absolutely superb. I do love these sorts of movies and this movie did keep me entertained from start to finish, but I just wish it didn't leave me asking questions about the movie. Please do join me in the comments, I would love to know, have you seen Those Who Wish Me Dead yet? And if so, what's your actual thoughts on this movie? Did you like it or did you dislike it? And also, are you planning to go back to the cinemas? I would love to hear. The age rating is a 15 here in the UK, has a running time of 1 hour 40 minutes so it's not that long, there's no sex or nudity, there's a lot of profanity and a ton of violence. I'm going to give those who wish me dead 4 out of 5 popcorns. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this review. If you like this video please do give it a like, also don't forget to share and subscribe if you can, it really does help the channel out and I'd really appreciate it as well. Thank you so much for taking the time. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. You've been watching Carl on the channel, Carly D09. Bye-bye.